We've got a lot to get to tonight, so hit the lever on your recliner and sit back. It's district tournament time across North Dakota. First up in District 12, our Redeemers versus Berthold. Knights led by just two at the half. They went on a run to start the third quarter, though. Leah Conway to Maya Vibeto, catch and shoot three for a six point our Redeemers cushion. Bombers offense went quiet for a bit, but Casey Simons got the crowd loud. ORCS coach Hart Andes calls timeout. Fourth quarter, Simons again. She had a tough matchup against Aubrey Greedle, but Casey stuck with it tonight. Speaking of, Caden Braun finds Aubrey Greedle. Aubrey had 19 points tonight. Maya Vibeto had 22. And a big second half sends the Our Redeemers Christian School Knights to the semifinal round. They'll play the winner of DLB and Glenburn. Panthers lost their first 13, then went on a five game win streak. Low scoring first quarter, thanks in part to Glenburn freshman Emma Jones on the block. Six foot one freshman, what are they putting in her cereal bowl? Few seconds left in the quarter. Brooklyn Heinley pickpocket on defense goes up for two just before the buzzer sounds. And six seed Glenburn is leading three seed DLB by four. Lakers outside shots weren't falling, so they worked inside. Zanna Berkeley to Kaylee Werner goes up. DLB still trailing. Caitlin Berg cycles through Werner. Back to Berkeley for three. Now their shots are falling. They didn't give up the lead and move on to tomorrow's semifinal round. No upsets in District 12 tonight. All games won by 19 or more points. Tomorrow's games should be closer. South Prairie versus Surrey and ORCS versus DLB. District 11, West Hope Newburgh will play top seed rugby. And at the bottom of the bracket, an upset in overtime. Ned Rose moves on and will play the Botano Stars. In District 15, Partial versus White Shield. Braves junior Christine Driver, putback is good. Warriors ball, but Kiana Averson, the pickpocket. Kiana goes coast to coast, route was on for the junior guard. Everson again, cross court pass to Alyssa Hakinson for three. It's good. White Shield finally break through. Chloe Bears tail Fox rainbow shot from the corner. That's good. And one more promise in Dreddy. She throws one in, but all partial today. They move on to the semifinals tomorrow. Next up, Trenton versus North Shore Plaza. Tigers with a talented eighth grader, Megan Clearus. She scores off a scramble. Then Jada Turcott finds her on a breakaway. Let's go to Tristy Creel with a steal. That rhymes. Goes from one end to the other. That's good. Up by 22 at the half. Sets up the Braves versus the Tigers for a shot at the district championship game. No close calls in District 15 today. All quarterfinal games won by 30 points or more. Partial will play Trenton. Up next for Newtown is Mandaree. All games at Williston State College. Last up, the smallest district in the state. 16, just two games today. The Ranchers run past the Maroons and will play Kenmare. Stanley sneaks by Ray. Tioga up next. DCB Jacks are at Bismarck State tonight. Botno had an excellent start. Lucas Trantis works through contact and gets to the basket. Lumberjacks built a 10 point lead quickly. Then BSC went to work to close the gap. Jaden Hamilton, the former rugby Panther, rebound and put back. On the break, it's the Minot Heim magician turned mystic. Deontay Martinez finishes. Bismarck State cuts the lead down to two, but Botno built the lead right back up. Brendan Redhead, three pointer. Jacks win and are now 18 and seven with three weeks left in the season. Before we wrap up, how about a cleanser? Let's go to the ice. The top two teams in the West region fighting for the regular season championship. Minot High at Legacy. First period, Jamison Johnson has it for the Sabres. Sends across the ice. Matthew Souther takes a shot, but it goes wide. It was a good scoring chance for the Sabres. Second period now. Magicians get a two-on-one breakaway. Eli Hansen shoots and scores. Minot takes the lead one to zero. Into the third period we go. Drew Beasley speeds down the ice in hope of tying the score. His shot goes right into the tin of Troby Strand. 
and it deflects wide. Magi play at Mandan on Saturday for a shot at the WDA regular season title. And the Magician's swim team won their duel against Century in Bismarck. Good day for Minot. We'll be right back.